Uh, I see black belt tests that are very sophisticated as far as uh, the goals that you set out to do, like what if every high-ranking black belt cultivated a program like the ultimate black belt test, but of something in something they're interested in? Uh, there's all kinds of things we haven't addressed in the martial arts community, hypermasculinity, the effects of media on uh, girls' self-image, uh, anger management issues, uh, you know, community engagement. There's all kinds of things you could champion. Three really good programs that I really like that are, you know, like top of the line. You could do anything around these is uh, thinkkindness.org of Brian Williams, uh, Gary Engel's work with project-based leadership training, and uh, the, of course the ultimate black belt test, the Alabama project, those are top of the line. You can start down here and start with some easy ones and work it up until you and the strength of your people can do something. You go, hey, this is like benchmark stuff here. So let's see, we've got personal, we've got other people, we've got community, we've got the ultimate black belt test. That's pretty much it, you know. So the core of this program is training. If you don't train, if you don't bring legit martial arts school skills to this program, we lose our credibility. Let's put that aside and say that's a must. Then you have to do something else. And you know, whatever's hardest for you in the ultimate black belt test, that's pretty much the test, isn't it? If you struggle with, uh, you know, journaling, well, my friend, that's your test. If you struggle with diet, your test isn't gonna be made up of all the things you do easily and without thinking. It's gotta be made up of every single thing that you suck at and uh, want to improve about yourself. The first, uh, oh say, quarter of the test is setting those goals and writing them out, and making your declaration. And by the way, almost everybody, if not to the person who fails the ultimate black belt test, fails, just completely blows it off. These are not people who went to a large group of their students and peers and said, this is what I'm gonna do and I will not quit. When you don't do that, it's easy to quit and you don't lose face, right? Everybody goes, ah, you know, it wasn't what it, oh, callous, you know, oh. The ultimate, like, ah, oh, it's garbage, you know. No, you say, this is, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. And you, you get your students to be the, uh, the helpers, you know, they, without their pressure and looking to you like, are you real or are you fake? You know, you may not push yourself as hard. The ultimate black belt test is your program. And you get to talk about it in your own community. And you get to say stupid things about it, like, you know, all high and mighty, like, you know, this is the way it should be done. And you get to say things that you're proud of and you get to say things that later you look back and say maybe that wasn't my best effort. But we'll never know and we'll never polish the skills you need to be a, like a leader in the international martial arts community to really reach your potential if we don't get out and exercise these muscles. So that's the ultimate black belt test. Uh, the curriculum is designed in a way that you get to customize it. So customize it and let me scrutinize it with you and see if maybe uh, we can make it an effort that you're proud of for years to come, that it sets the mark for all the things that you do. That would be the ultimate.